channel. So for today's video, yeah, this is the look that we're going to be doing today. So let me not talk too much and be annoying and weird. Let's just get on with that video. So let's look at those materials. Black and white face paints because we're all about racial equality and diversity on this channel. Red lipstick, an optional red lip liner because I just love the color red. I don't know if I've made it obvious or not. Black eyeliner. What else do you want me to say? Some basic paint brushes for painting of the face. Last but not least, a brush and some blush. That rhymes. All right, you've heard enough about the boring materials that I guess we're gonna need, but let's get on with that tutorial. All right, so to start off, um, start off with a clean face. Um, you also may want to add just eyeliner, like a wing, and then some mascara. Which for girls, guys, you don't need to do this. I mean, I know whole Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner, whatever it is thing. I mean, you you don't have to do this, but um, I did this off camera just to save some time. And I know it doesn't look perfect, but this is all for the hashtag. It doesn't have to be perfect makeup campaign that no one ever started and that doesn't exist. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am taking this red lipstick, which you can use any red lipstick, but this one was like $3 at Spirit Halloween, surprisingly. I, I get everything. I don't get all my makeup there, but I got this there. But anyways, we're gonna take our top lip right here, and I'm not gonna be talking in a little bit for obvious reasons, but we're just gonna put this all on our top lip like this. And if you want to use lip liner, you can, hence the optional lip. You get the idea, just go over the top lip. Now that I have a top nowhere near perfect red lipstick lip thing, whatever you want to call it, I'm taking my black eyeliner, and this was like a cheap dollar eyeliner, I don't even know where I got it. Well, I got it at some like, I don't even know, yeah, I really don't know, but anyways, we're just going to take this, and we're going to draw a perfectly straight line down our face like this. So connect it with your, whatever, this thing right here, yeah, all you doctors out there are going to know what that is. Uh, All right, so now I'm kind of gonna go right here where my chin is and I'm gonna draw a line that's not perfect. Oh, me talking made that line not perfect, but yeah, so just like that. And basically this is gonna be like just blackness, I guess you could say, and I'm not trying to be here. It's just, that's the color that's gonna be there. Anyways, so now that we have this little, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> don't have a particular name and yes I'm grabbing my products as I talk. I'm taking a paintbrush and my black cream makeup thing from Spirit Halloween which it was like a dollar I think. Yeah it wasn't a lot. It was really cheap. You can also get it at Walmart at Halloween or just find this place online but I'm just gonna glob some of this on here and I'm just making sure I'm doing this right but we're just gonna paint it like that and try to make sure you get it really good but you're gonna paint all inside this little area. All right, so I know this looks messy, but it's gonna look better in a little bit. Now we have the, but now that we have this, I'm taking my lip liner, which you can use the lipstick still, but I feel like this is gonna be a lot easier. And I'm gonna kind of go down here and connect these together like that. Doesn't have to look perfect, but you're basically just doing the bottom part of the lip like right here. Okay, so now that we have all of this then it looks confusing. We're gonna take our white cream makeup, which is basically white face paint. It's from Spirit Halloween. I got it for like a dollar also, and I use this a lot, I notice. So I'm kind of running low, someone wants to buy me more. JK. Anyways, what I'm gonna be doing is right here and here, if you have like a white lipstick or something, you can put it here, but we're just gonna paint these two areas with white. So that's gonna look messy. We're gonna glob this with white. Ooh, that looks so bright. Okay, there you go. I know, my teeth are really gross looking. Just get over it. <laughs> Feel on it, I'll let people look this close at my face, but doing that and then right here, you, oop, let's not do that because that's going to end badly, but. Alright, so because I don't want to mess this up, I just decided to stop talking. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm stopped talking, but taking my black cream makeup again and a very fine point thinner brush to make this not as bad as it can end up, and I, yeah, I messed up that right there. But basically, we're going to be making the teeth, so you're going to draw a perfectly straight line 
on your top white layer and your bottom white layer. And this is going to make the teeth of the ventriloquist dummy. And it's going to make it look more like it's got like a really wide open mouth. And I messed up right there. Good job, Sid. Anyways, um, if you mess up, it's fine. It doesn't need to look perfect, but just don't glob it everywhere. I've done that before. It looked horrible. That was hard to get off, but yeah. So, I mean, that's really all you're doing. Just that top row layer, the bottom layer, or row, whatever you want to call it. But very simple stuff. Last but not least, now that we have the mouth completed, I'm just going to be doing this for more of the extra added effect of a ventriloquist dummy, but I'm taking this blush right here and, of course, a brush. Obviously, I need a brush to put on blush. Heh, <laughs> that rhymes. Anyway, so we're going to be taking the blush and we're going to just put it around our cheeks. As you can see, I'm just kind of ro rubbing it, rolling it around my cheek. Yep, yeah, just putting it on. It's really easy. You don't need to make it look perfect because, again, it's not like we're applying actual makeup for, like, actual people. Unless you're into that, I mean. Hey, I don't judge. But yeah, that's really all we're doing right there. Guys, you can do this too if you want. No one's going to make fun of you for it, hopefully. But we're going to now take this eyeliner, which, guys, you can also do this for added effect. And we're going to basically make three dots on each side of our face like so. So, yeah, that's really easy. Just kind of do what I'm doing, kind of rolling and placing and rolling and placing. But that's pretty much it. And that's your completed look. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. This is the completed look. Yeah, you can, yeah, this is what it looks like when it's done, but, because I don't want to talk too much, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, if it helped you in any way, or, I don't know why else you would like it, maybe because I look, look really weird, I don't know. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel, because I make videos every single week, and I do a makeup tutorial, or special effects makeup tutorial, at least once a week, but yeah. Also, leave a comment down below telling me what you think, and... Yeah, tell me what you think. Any suggestions for a video that you have? If this is really creeping you out, if you've ever tried this before. Also, make sure to follow my social media down below. I do have more down there. So go check that out. Also, check out my website, queenofhorror.com. I post all my special effects, makeup, urban legends, creepy stories, movie reviews, horror film movie reviews specifically. But yeah, I do all that other stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Until next time, bye guys. And always say goodbye.